Hi, I'm Nick from uh, Wyoming Reptiles, and I'm here to show you my collection of animals. I'm going to start off with my three leopard geckos. Um, this first one I'm going to show you is, uh, her name's Betty White, she's a blazing blizzard, and she's had some trouble growing, but we're starting to get her going, and she's been gaining weight every week, she's been gaining about a gram now, but she's had some issues in the beginning. Um, didn't buy from a reputable breeder. So that was probably our biggest mistake with her. But now we'll go on to our next animal. And the next one, is, her name's Jennifer, and she is my raptor female. She is my fastest leopard gecko animal that I have because she just likes to jump everywhere. But let me try to put her down. So that's a quick view of her. And the next animal is Jeff. Um, he was actually a rescue that I got here in town. Uh, somebody just couldn't take care of him anymore. And he is currently um, up for sale to a good house on Morph Market. Um, he's $30. We're just trying to find him a good home. Uh, he's just pet only type animal. So the next part I'm gonna show you are uh, my baby ball pythons. Um, each one of these we did not produce. We bought these for a project that we're going to be doing, which each one of them is for a specific project. So this first one right here, her name is Rhea, and she is our yellow belly female. She is about 350 grams right now, um, and we're hoping, uh, not next season, but the season after that, we're able to breed her to our male. And I'll show you the male real quick. This one is the male and he's a specter. So if you wanted to take any guesses, we're making we're gonna plan we're planning to make super stripes. Um, and he's my feistiest snake, but he's good once he's out of the cage. But he will have no problem at biting at me. So the next one is also a part of that super stripe uh, project that we're gonna be working on. And this is my pastel yellow belly female. And she's growing a little bit slower. Um, she weighs about 208 grams right now. Um, I measured, I weighed her yesterday, I believe, or the day before. Uh, got an escape over here. So this is my kingpin female. Um, my buddy Riley owns her, but she's good. She uh, has been growing pretty slowly. She eats regularly, but just has an issue growing. But she has some really cool patterning along the sides, like normal kingpins would. A um, little feisty, but for the most part, she's good. Get a better view of her here. So now we'll move on to a little bit bigger snake. Um, he is my male mystic ball python and he is a full-grown adult male he weighs about 1100 grams and he's been breeding with my mojave female to try to make some mystic potions which are my favorite morph um this guy i he doesn't eat for some like it, he's in breeding season but before that he didn't eat for a while so i'm hoping he goes back on food soon once he's done breeding but that's my mystic male right there this next one is an oddball he's not actually a ball python but he is my super dwarf male and we actually will not have him anymore after this weekend he sold um, he's going to a new house in Virginia but he's a nice little guy he uh, was born in July he weighs about 250 grams and he's probably about 30 inches long he's pretty long but he's a real nice super dwarf the nicest super dwarf I've ever seen and has only he bit me once and that was completely my fault So this next animal I'm going to show you is what started the whole craze for me. And this is Aphrodite. 
She's my Mojave female. She weighs about 1,700 grams right now. And she is growing follicles at the moment. Uh, she's been breeding with my male Mystic. And then also you'll see later she's been breeding with my uh, pastel banana het ghost. They, uh, I've just been breeding both males because I like both morphs. So just trying to see what happens there. But that's Aphrodite, and she is a Mojave. Next girl is much bigger, and she actually is gravid at the moment. She weighs about 3,000 grams right now. She's a big girl. She likes to move quick, too. So I hope my cameraman doesn't get a little spooked here. But she has been breeding with uh, Gary, my pastel banana uh, het ghost animal. And I'm hoping to prove her out to be something other than a normal. And Aphrodite is escaping her cage over here. So she has been breeding with uh, Gary, my pastel banana het ghost animal. And uh, I'm hoping that she'll prove out to be not just a normal because she does have a weird pattern for a normal. Um, we got her as a dinker project and just kind of messing around with it. If it doesn't prove out, it's only our first year breeding and she's a really cool animal. So I'm just happy to have her. Uh, the next so here's another one of our uh, female ball pythons. She's also a normal and she weighs approximately 1900 grams. She's been also breeding with Gary. Uh, he's basically bred, uh, he's bred every snake, female snake we've owned, uh, except for Aphrodite, she's only, he's only bred once, but she's also getting Gary's genes, because we love banana, it's one of our favorite morphs, um, and there's also pastel in there, so pastel's a sweet morph, but she's a normal, and we're hoping uh, that she may be possible calico, uh, they didn't know when they were selling it to us, so they sold it as a normal, but we're hoping she's just a very low expression calico that does prove out, but we'll find out this season, I guess. So I'm going to show you these uh, two that we're, are breeding right now, uh, and they actually aren't locked anymore. So I'll pull Gary up for you, but they were locked about an hour ago. But here's Gary. He's my pastel banana Het ghost, and we want to eventually prove out that het ghost to see if we actually get any. Um, and then he's breeding with my 2800 gram spider girl right here. It was the last time I weighed her, that's how much she was, but she hasn't been taken too well, but she's a gorgeous animal. Definitely a mean animal, but I don't really care that bad. Okay, so you've seen, we have I have quite a few animals at my house here. Um, this is just the first year I started doing this, but... We're excited to start breeding some animals, and uh, we're going to be putting out some more videos now, hopefully more on a regular basis. We want to try to get onto a one week, uh, one video a week schedule. But uh, I just wanted to show you a quick update of what I've got going on here right now, and uh, my a little bit of my breeding plans. We we can go into depth more on that later. But uh, thank you for watching our video. Leave a like and uh, subscribe to our channel and maybe pass on the words to others so they can see our passion for animals.